Making sure children are healthy, safe, loved, ready to learn, succeeding in school and in life. This is Our Children, a program brought to you by the Children's Trust. Good morning, I'm Ileana Varela. And I'm Modesto Abeti Gutierrez, CEO of the Children's Trust. And together we welcome you to Our Children. You know, every year the Children's Trust publicly recognizes individuals and programs doing exceptional work on behalf of children and families in our community, inspiring others to do the same. This year was no exception, but what made it extra special was the connection made to Read to Learn, our new initiative aimed at improving third grade reading level. Among those on hand, author Laura Duxta and illustrator Karen Kiesler, who signed copies of the New York Times bestseller, I Love You More, now celebrating its 10th anniversary. And to emphasize the critical importance of reading with children, Nikki and Ryan Weisberg read the book out loud on stage. I love you longer than the longest lollipop ever lasted. I love you louder than the loudest rocket ship ever blasted. I love you taller than the tallest giraffe ever grown. I love you more, so much more than you've ever known. Then he wrapped his arms around her with all the love that he had. And she felt it all surround her when she gently whispered, Know what, son? I love you more. <laughs> we cannot emphasize enough the importance of reading at grade level to ensure academic success. But this year's recipient of the David Lawrence Jr. Champion for Children Award was honored for a lifetime of achievement in the field of children's mental health. Do you think these rocks are pretty? At first glance, these weathered rocks may appear insignificant. Oh, that's way more prettier. But a closer look reveals their sparkling inner beauty, a value so precious it can't be measured. And so these products of nature have come to symbolize the life of Dr. Robert Nolan, a man who entered a world of adversity, but within himself discovered a wealth of potential. Born in Jacksonville, Florida, Dr. Nolan spent his formative years in an orphanage during the Great Depression and struggled in school. Well, I stayed in the first grade for three years. I failed it twice and for different reasons, one of them being they didn't know I had a, a visual problem at the time. But with a clear vision for a better future, he enlisted in the Army before finishing high school and proudly served his country overseas during World War II. It was then that the young Dr. Nolan found his true calling. Here I am, with, with, not with a 10th grade education yet, and I said, well, I think I'll be a child psychologist. Some years later, back on home soil, he graduated with a PhD in psychology in one hand and an unshakable dream of making a difference in the other. A dream fulfilled in 1962 when he assumed the post of chief psychologist of what is known today as the Institute for Child and Family Health, a nonprofit which provides diverse medical, educational, and preventative services to children and families in Miami-Dade County. Nearly half a century later, Dr. Nolan remains with the agency, currently serving as its executive director. And over the years, I've seen hundreds of thousands of, of kids and trained multiple numbers of psychologists and uh, social workers and others in the mental health field. Bob is an absolute expert in this field. There are people who want to intern at the agency from all over this country that uh, would give their eye teeth to spend a little bit of time learning from him. Among his countless professional accomplishments, Dr. Nolan improved the quality of mental health treatments for severely emotionally disturbed youth, helped frame policies pertaining to children's mental health in Florida, was behind the creation of the Linking Forces Conference, which is designed to strengthen collaborations between parents, teachers, mental health professionals, and agencies. 
was one of the founders of the Florida Association for Play Therapy. Always we have a number of games. And play therapy is what Dr. Nolan considers the centerpiece of his professional career. It's based on, on a couple of basic concepts. And one of them is that given certain conditions, a child has great potential and capability of healing himself psychologically. A perfect match. Much of the therapy is done at school. And it is at this school, Comstock Elementary in Miami, where Dr. Nolan carefully unwraps his precious rocks to pass on the lesson he learned early in life. That's the way all children look on the inside. A 19th century British Prime Minister once said, the legacy of heroes is the memory of a great name and the inheritance of a great example. Those words have traversed generations to define Dr. Robert Dale Nolan, an internationally renowned child psychologist, a beloved family man, trusted friend, war veteran, and forever a champion for children. The mark of a genuine professional. And frankly, I couldn't be prouder uh, to have an award named after me that would go to him. Oh, Dr. Nolan is certainly a giant in his field, but Mo, you and I both know there are thousands of others in Miami-Dade who serve on the front lines, dedicating themselves tirelessly in the direct service to children and families, day and night. Jill Little is one of those people. This is the 11th Judicial Circuit Court of Florida, home to the Children's Courthouse of Miami-Dade. This is where Judge Lester Langer was presiding in 2005 when he helped found the Young Parent Project, a home visitation program aimed at stopping the cycle of teen pregnancy, dependency and delinquency he saw in many of the families that came to his courtroom. That's when Jill Little was hired to make a difference in the lives of teen moms and their babies and the Young Parent Project is a success today because of her. This program didn't have structure because we were creating it. And I think uh, what it is today has everything to do with the fact that Jill Little is our team leader. Through humor, a youthful spirit, and generosity of heart, Jill eases tension and breaks down walls. She has a personality that really stands out. She attracts young people. With a degree in social work, Jill has worked with the Department of Juvenile Justice, the Department of Children and Families, and now with the Florida State University's Young Parents Project. But she didn't always know this would be her life's work and certainly never imagined she would receive an award for it. I wanted to be an attorney, and I looked at the LSAT book and I said that's probably not going to be a good match. I always knew I had to work with people, and I always wanted to help people who give people a voice who didn't have a voice for themselves. Former Children's Trust board member Judge Langer believes this program is effective because Jill reached these girls like never before. The Champions for Children's Award really speaks to the untold good that she's done, not only for the children she's touched personally, but also for the children and families that have been touched by the people that she's touched. The teenage years are already fraught with challenges and emotional growing pains. Now, imagine being a teenage mom, perhaps a victim of abuse, violence, and neglect, and with no idea how to access services for you or your baby. With nowhere else to turn, teen moms like Cynthia Jacks have learned to depend a lot on Jill. And Jill took me to all my doctor's appointments, even during labor first. I called my doctor to tell him how far apart the contractions was, and then I called Jill. Jill was pleased. Then I kept calling and kept calling, and she finally woke up. She said, um, I'll be there. Others depend on Jill as well. Several judges have grown to trust her judgment in both dependency and delinquency cases because they've seen how effective she can be. Jill has magic with these uh, teen moms. They trust her. They listen to her. She tells it to them straight, and they still listen to her. It gives me a sense of, of pride, and it eases my anxiety. 
to see these children 15, 16 years old going to give birth and they don't know what to expect. And our Jill gives them that, that assistance. For years, Jill Little has helped countless teen moms by coordinating services to meet their needs. But more importantly, she is leading by example. She is showing them how to build strong, nurturing, and supportive relationships with their own babies to break that negative cycle. Jill, I'm happy you're part of my life. I'm thankful. Children's Forum received the award for excellence in school readiness programming. Although it does not deliver direct services to children, its work with the Quality Counts Career Center is vital to early childhood education in Miami-Dade County. Speed, Here's why. Ready? This little One. boy is learning how to count. Two. At the tender age of two, he already Three. knows the more little Four. fingers he holds up, the Five. greater the praise. Yay. So when it comes to early childhood education, One. the Children's Forum knows quality counts. Four. The more training a teacher receives, the better the students will perform. We advocate for the provision of high quality early care and education services for all of Florida's children. And of course our efforts here are especially focused on Miami-Dade County. The Quality Counts Initiative was established by the Children's Trust in collaboration with the Early Learning Coalition to steadily increase the level of care and education for young children. Hello, how are you doing? In 2007, the Trust contracted the Children's Forum to carry out the professional development piece of that initiative by funding the creation and ongoing operation of the Quality Counts Career Center. The Quality Counts Career Center vision is to empower practitioners to be the very best that they can be, and we help them through professional development activities. The Career Center employs experienced career advisors who visit child care centers throughout Miami-Dade County and encourage teachers, also known as practitioners, to pursue higher education. We have six career advisors and each one of them has a caseload between 45 to 50 centers. So we are almost uh, servicing 3,200 practitioners. We are the ones who go out the field. We reach out to every single teacher in every single center under the initiative. Under the professional development aspect of the Quality Counts Initiative, the Career Center helps teachers identify appropriate goals and offers incentives such as assistance in transferring credits or degrees from a foreign university, one-on-one -on -one educational counseling, college and community-based training scholarships, and wage stipends. Last year we were able to grant 4,000 scholarships to practitioners. Guys, what do you think this is? Maria Ochoa, who teaches at Little Heroes Learning Center, is a proud Quality Counts Scholarship recipient. It's given me the ability to be able to meet many of my professional needs. Um, it's also helped me be an asset to my school, being able to provide a better quality and standards where I'm working to the parents and in general to the community. Quality Counts has had a tremendous impact on Little Heroes. Child care centers that participate in quality counts, such as Little Heroes in Doral, also benefit from grants for materials and equipment, lower turnover rates, and assistance in achieving a five-star quality standard, which covers the following key areas. Every time we reach a goal, every time um, a practitioner reach a credential, of course, those starts increase. Wow. And when that happens, the rewards are truly countless. Yeah! I'll be eternally grateful to Quality Counts because it's made me a better administrator and leader and provided a better program for our children in the community. Up next, learn about a program that helps families in crisis and then another helping children succeed through music. We'll be right back. See what 
everyone is talking about. Learn about our programs, become a donor, or get your concert tickets today. The Greater Miami Youth Symphony, a total community project. Young Talent Big Dream. The most comprehensive local youth talent competition for performers ages 8 to 17 is taking audition reservations now. Presented by Actors Playhouse at the Miracle Theater and the Children's Trust, auditions run October through March throughout Miami-Dade. Compete for prizes, scholarships, and performance opportunities. For complete details, visit these websites or call the Children's Trust helpline at 211. Welcome back everyone. The recipient of the Award for Excellence in Health, Family or Community Service leads the Family Safety Net First Response Service Partnership. It is the New Horizons Community Mental Health Center and its labor of love since 1974 has been uplifting the lives of families in some of our most challenged communities. From this building, for 37 years, New Horizons Community Mental Health Center has been serving families in the highest at-risk communities of Miami-Dade County. Dr. Lubernese Krosky is the CEO of New Horizons. One of the things I think that was important to me as a service provider was that the having a partnership with community agencies made it possible for us to use our limited resources to bring them together to provide services to at-risk children and their families. In 2008, New Horizons launched the Family Safety New First Response Service Partnership. This program works closely with the Department of Children and Families, law enforcement, and community agencies to help families in crisis. Their motto, a village for every child, keeping children safe is everybody's business. The partners identify families in need and work together as a team to cover every base. Being able to provide the service and have the service come to the front door, and that's what our program is about, making sure that the children are safe at all times. Because of the seriousness and confidential nature of the issues most of these families face, few could share their stories. Take Virginia Pugh, mother, grandmother, and cancer survivor. She was nearly left out on the street when the home she was renting in Alapata was sold. But New Horizons stepped in and moved her to a more affordable home. It also placed her grandson in a new school and a program that supports his dream of one day becoming a police officer. My family without the New Horizon program, uh, we would still be poss possibly looking for places to stay. Uh, my, um, I would still be stressed out about the utilities. He wouldn't be in the Police Explorer program. Winifred Bass also needed a hand in raising her granddaughter alone in Brownsville. 11-year-old Alicia desperately needed counseling, mentoring, and tutoring. Everything that they have set out to do for me, it has happened. And it couldn't, and it wouldn't happen without them. I'm very happy that Children Trust has given this recognition to New Horizon. And I hope this won't be the last one. Alicia is especially thrilled with her new bedroom set. I got a new lamp new nightstand and a new bed and they gave me a, a desktop, a computer desktop. <laughs> I love my new bed. Poverty and violence are the biggest obstacles for most of the families that walk through the door at New Horizons. Dr. Yvonne McCullough Wahisi believes New Horizons and its partners are confronting a social tsunami while struggling to keep families afloat. To the Children Trust, thank you very much. Thank you for being a gatekeeper, and thank you for recognizing that a social tsunami has come close to these communities where we have the current service partnerships. And I thank you for allowing us an opportunity 
to maybe pull back that social tsunami to reduce the impact. For excellence in youth programming for school and life success, the Greater Miami Youth Symphony took home this year's top honor. Children with the symphony travel this community and the nation to show off their talent, but what they take away from this experience goes far beyond playing a musical instrument. <laughs> With their chins resting firmly on their string instruments, these novice musicians learn the essentials of posture and punctuality. With finesse and unimpaired concentration, these orchestra students rehearse complex musical pieces. This is the talent, the workmanship of the Greater Miami Youth Symphony a program that for more than half a century has fostered a passion for music and enriched our cultural community one note, one child at a time. One, two, three, Dr. Melissa Lesniak is the Youth Symphony's Executive Director. Under her leadership, the five-level orchestra program has grown to nearly 800 children. From beginners to advanced to children with emotional and physical disabilities, the Youth Symphony is attuned to the whole child, offering literacy, physical education, and social skills development classes to complement its musical curriculum. I think music and the arts give students the opportunity for creative outlets, but also it gives them opportunities to develop commitment and learning how to practice and focus, which are things that do help them ultimately academically as well as uh, success in life. All right, F sharp, very good. Where is F sharp on the violin? Lakeisha Frith joined the Youth Symphony as a child with no prior musical training. When I was in GMYS, my conductor at the time was an African-American gentleman. That was really inspiring for me, seeing what he was doing with his life and how he was working with the kids. Lakeisha quickly made strides, moving from beginners to the highest level of orchestra. Inevitably, music evolved into a career choice. Today, she's an accomplished violin player who works for GMYS. Thirteen-year-old Hugo Belisario is another success story. He joined the Youth Symphony when he was in the third grade. Hugo started in the beginner class here at Westwind Park when I was teaching the class. And now he is in the symphony orchestra, our top ensemble. It's created like discipline, organization, and self-confidence, and something that's important to People at my age, um, like being social, like having friends, and like it's been helping me with that. It's also enabled him to excel academically. He always is in A's and B's, uh, good grades. Right now, he is the first violin at his school, and that's very good, and we are very proud. Hugo, Lakeisha, and Dr. Lesniak agree. The role music plays in the overall development of a child is truly noteworthy. Research after research has shown that music skills improve study, cognitive, and verbal proficiency. School children exposed to the performing arts may do a better job at mastering reading, writing, and math than those who focus solely on academics. We have had 100% of our students go on to college as long as I've been with the Greater Miami Youth Symphony. That's music to everyone's ears. Lovely. And speaking of nurturing talent, I don't know about you, Mo, but I was, I was blown away, totally amazed by the talented kids who perform at the Champions for Children Award Ceremony this year. And I didn't realize that they were discovered as part of the uh, Young Talent um, Big Dreams uh, Talent Search that you have with the Actors Playhouse. Over 500 kids competed last year from all over the county. What a great competition. Tell you about it. Well, time for us to go now. 
I'm Ileana Varela on behalf of the Children's Trust and Modesto Abeti Gutierrez. Thanks for watching this edition of Our Children. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday, but before we go, let's end with more sights and sounds from the Champions for Children's Awards ceremony. She went up the waves and down the so many people in this room that I know who should be standing up here. I guess there's just no room for all of us, which is a wonderful thing. <laughs> I'd like to thank the Children's Trust for believing in us. Uh, we started with the trust in 2005 when we only had 150 students, and now we have over 800. <laughs> when this um, project started, Six years ago, uh, about four years ago, the Children's Trust got on board and saw the need for services for our teen parents in Miami-Dade. is brought to you by the Children's Trust. The Children's Trust invests in programs and services that help make children healthy, safe, loved, ready to learn, succeed in school and in life. To access its funded programs and services in Miami-Dade County, visit thechildrenstrust.org or call the Children's Trust helpline at 211 because all children are our children.